so i really see that next 5 to 10 years the uh, adoption of ai into this manufacturing process industries will get better and better you can think of uh, zero defect zero pollution factories the gap in ai adoption between the large companies and the msmes is ever growing and with the advent of gen ai etc this gap is just increasing at a very rapid rate and if you see the number of msmes are simply mind boggling uh, about 20 million manufacturing msmes are there in india so do we have the ability to deliver ai solutions to them at that scale that's the main purpose behind setting up the center walmart center for tech excellence is a center that's funded by walmart through a csr grant and the faculty who work there are associated with wardwani school of ai so walmart center for tech excellence in itself has three major aims uh, the first aim is to develop a platform for ai ml deployment when we looked at those issues why the msme segment of india is not really taking the way it should the real problem is on the transparency of the project status and the quality of the project status these two are the show stoppers for our indian msmes the first use case to bring in transparency is that we are now creating a digitization of their shop floor activities a digital copy of every record is kept so nothing is lost and we are also looking at automatic updation of the tracking systems that they have so at every point you want to know where the product is how much percentage of it is completed so this system automatically lets you update the status of a product and there is a quality associated steps which is also getting captured in this whole workflow we are also trying to develop uh, vision technologies where the vision technology itself will be able to assess the quality with respect to whether this it is adhering to the specs in each of the process steps etc and why we are saying this is because quality is important MSMEs can lose their business if there is not enough quality. You are losing productivity because your production processes are getting slow because of manual inspection. How can you bring automation into that? So what we are trying to say is can we give a platform based solution which is very low cost. So IIT will be building that uh, platform. The second goal is that when you talk about MSMEs you're talking about companies anywhere from 50 crore revenue upwards. and all of us know the market for data science and ai a really good data science engineer is just almost unaffordable for these msmes it becomes very difficult for these companies to think about implementing ai iot solutions so what iit is planning to do is set up an AI, iot lab which will offer msmes an experience center so they come they understand okay so these are the possible areas where i can create automation within the center or i can build in some advanced ai solutions within the plant the third goal is you could implement all of this and so on but you need skilled people to continue to work with this one thing that people probably don't understand is you can't deploy an ai solution and walk away and it won't run for life there are things that you need to do you need to tweak systems change data changes more data comes in and so on So once there is an implementation at least maintaining that you need a workforce that does that. What we are also trying to do is deliver training sessions so there there are there are modules which will be uh, equipping them to understand about IoT technologies the hardware software the integration etc more importantly giving them the wherewithal to go back to their plants to do these projects themselves we will always be there to to render any support if it is required but we believe that there is enough room to skill to equip and that will be a non linear growth from within the msms right because that person gets trained goes back and does many more implementations on his own or with minimal support from our side when ai really is implemented in very large scale in manufacturing process industries safety is going to improve the safety of workers and the safety when products are being used and so on i see a lot of hope when we look at these kinds of techniques in terms of 
moving from manufacturing at some level to sustainable manufacturing because there's a lot of Gen A and other techniques which are looking at different types of materials that were not being explored before. So that is a place where uh, AI is going to make a big impact and because of which I think the whole uh, humankind will, uh, will get its benefits.